So the title of this video is Being Anti-Gay is Not Okay. If it's just going to make you angry, don't watch it. These are my thoughts, my feelings, and if you don't like the title, don't watch the video. Simple. Um, I am studying African politics at university at the moment as one of my modules in my PPE degree. And this week we covered Uganda and the anti-homosexuality bill of 2009. And I came out of our lecture and I was really, really angry, which is very rare. I don't get angry that often. Um, I was angry because I don't understand how people can feel that way about somebody just because they're gay because being gay is not something you choose it's who you are it's like a fundamental part of being a human being it doesn't make them different it doesn't make them dangerous it just is who they are so to persecute an entire section of a population because of who they are is just wrong like end of it's just wrong um i appreciate that this happens to loads and loads of other people it happens to women it happens to um people of different race it's not right but i'm concentrating on the kind of anti-gay movement that's that seems to be happening which yeah we watched a video in a lecture um which covered um the us far-right christian movement argue that um, the gays were the people who caused World War One and World War Two, and they mainly argue that they are the gays are after Ugandan people's children to turn them gay, and when this happens, then their society will become utterly immoral and all hell will break loose but you can't choose to be gay being gay is an intrinsic part of who you are it's not something you can change you might try and pretend you're not you might try and hide from it but that won't make you happy and ultimately you're denying yourself your actual existence you can't be turned not gay or gay for that matter they're not going to cure you it, it's and why would you need curing for something that's part of who you are? I remember when my son was small and he used to like wearing princess dresses and someone said, well, what if you turn him gay? Well, it's not possible, I don't think, for me to turn him gay. If he is gay, he's already gay and that's fine. So it got me thinking about why the state cares about... Um, who you find attractive and what you do in your personal space and your personal time and ultimately that comes down to control you know states want to control us as much as they feasibly can because when they're controlling us they know what we're doing and I can see why that's appealing to a state but when it infringes on your human rights then that's not right Obviously, if you're causing someone harm or offence or pain, then that's a problem. But if you're two consensual adults, then there's absolutely no problem with a homosexual relationship. I appreciate that in the UK, maybe 20 years ago, maybe more, we probably had a pretty similar attitude. It just seems a bit surreal that that's a problem these days and that someone would perceive it as a problem yes I'm sorry that I had a rant I'm sorry if you don't agree with me these are totally my feelings my thoughts my opinion and I don't mind if you disagree with me but you're not going to change my opinion because that's how I feel that's how I've always felt 